in other videos we saw how to separate solid from a liquid particularly a solid which is not soluble in a liquid so it formed it formed a heterogeneous mixture in this video we will see how to separate a solid which is dissolved in a liquid so in this case this solid over here this is really soluble and when this solid dissolves in a liquid it forms it forms a solution and you can take an example like salt dissolved in water or sugar dissolved in water either of that both of them are soluble in water now if i ask you to separate solid from liquid now when it forms a solution when a solute or the solid is dissolved in liquid how will you do that turns out there are two methods one method is called one method is called evaporation and the second method is called crystallization so we will look at evaporation in this video now in order to separate the dissolved solid from from water in this case and let's be specific let's take salt and water what we can do is we can take we can take an evaporating dish which can look like this and we can take we can keep it on tripod stand this right here is a tripod stand and then heat it slowly from a bunsen burner or a candle so you have this solution in the evaporating dish solution that is kept like this so when you start heating the solution the water in the solution it starts evaporating starts turning into water vapor right and when the entire water has been evaporated all that is left behind is the solute or the solid or salt in this case and crystals of such salt are obtained crystals of such salt are obtained in the evaporating dish so that is how we can separate the dissolved solid from liquid now there is one advantage to this method that is that this is a very simple method it does not require complicated equipments you can just have a dish and some some heat source a candle or a bunsen burner but one disadvantage is that sometimes sometimes the solute can it can undergo thermal decomposition it can undergo thermal decomposition so what that means is basically the solid breaks down into two or more than two new chemical substances so for instance if you have some vitamins or minerals uh, uh, dissolved in water and you, want, and you just need pure vitamins and minerals maybe this method is not the best way to go because those vitamins or minerals can undergo thermal decomposition they can break down to form two new chemical substances so this method is not useful for all types of solutions but it is useful for some of them for such other types of solutions we can use the method of crystallization and we will learn about that in some other videos now this method of evaporation this method is also useful for farmers so farmers usually collect sea water um, and the heat from the sun evaporates the water in from this from this solution which only leaves behind crystals of salt that is how salt can can be obtained from sea water so there you go evaporation helps you separate dissolved solids into liquids but not all types of solids that are that are soluble in liquids